Today's room was filmed in front of a graduating studio on. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Not so fast. Before you get there, you have to get past the teachers. Ah! As someone who's been going to school for the past 15 years of his meaningless life, I think I know a thing or two about what makes a good teacher great. Today's lesson is how to be a great teacher. Jose's College Teacher Edition. You're gonna run into many types of teachers in college. I will be using real life examples to show that I am truly capable of teaching teachers how to truly teach better. That was a tongue twister. And now you know. And knowing is half the battle. I think my house is haunted. Find a subject that sounds interesting or important. <laughs> Don't worry if you know nothing about the subject, especially if it's English. Okay, class, take out your libros. Huh? I mean books. Most college English professors encourage students to find their own writing style. As long as that writing style is MLA format. And make sure it has a thesis statement. If it doesn't, don't bother turning it in. Oh, and make sure the body paragraphs have topic points. If they don't, that's points off. And make sure you restate your thesis in your conclusion. That way you get the point across. Include a header, and make sure the title is very creative and relevant to your essay. And make sure it's 12 font and single space or else you fail! Follow all those steps and you too can come up with your own creative writing style. <laughs> And isn't that what being a writer is all about, Miss Falco? Step two. Just assume the students know the subject by heart. Kind of like my botany teacher did. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Welcome to botany. Today I'm going to be talking about factors affecting the rate of respiration. Temperature. Temperature plays a major role in the rate at which the respiratory reaction occurs. For example, when air temperature rises from... So wait, Jose, this teacher right here is just assuming I know everything? And just reading from the book? How am I supposed to learn from this guy? Uh, this is how to be a good teacher, not a good student. Here's your final. And when you're assuming they know everything, make sure you assume that they respect you too. Because they don't respect you. You're a botanist. Nobody respects botanists. What's a microfilament? Also, make sure you assume that you're not too old to teach either. I don't even understand what he's saying. That's because he's so intellectual. I think he fell asleep. Third step. The third step is actually quite easy. All you gotta do is ignore a student in need. I mean, because this is college. There shouldn't be any kids in need there. Alright, sir, so what do you teach? Sir, are you ignoring me? How am I supposed to get a good grade when you're not even you're not even paying attention? Sir, I got an F? What class is this anyway? That F, didn't I? Step four. Step four. Don't touch me! Don't you dare touch me! <laughs> the fourth step is laughter. Don't be afraid to laugh with or at your students. Sir, I have a question. Sedano's long doesn't really correspond with the things we've learned this week. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you this one time about how I almost got sold a prostitute in front of Sedano. So he's just gonna tell stories and laugh all the time? Yeah, you want two pretty girls and we were just like, uh, I'm yep. actually believed it. True story. True story. What was you? What were you asking? Professor, is there any toilet paper left? <laughs> Let me tell you this one time how I ran out of toilet paper and I had to use my own hand, and I didn't have anywhere to put it, so I had to eat it. Hurry! You're gonna be late for your own graduation. All right, it's graduation time. First off, Jose Pizarro. Thank you, sir. You think that never changed? Keep on thinking, time to out be Oh no, you should be thanking your teacher for that. Yes, they are the ones that found subjects that they didn't know anything about. They assumed you knew everything. 
They ignored you and laughed at your misfortune. It's because of those teachers that you can't slow down. Memories are fading like a film without sound, and I died to the night in June. But no problem, it came too soon. Get the hell out of my graduation. It was just a dream. It wasn't a memory. Stay in school, kids. I'm gonna be begging for change. As we go. Ha, 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 ha,